So recently, the owner of TSB did something honestly low-key crazy. And what he did has clearly affected Realm Rampage and Jujutsu shenanigans. Another thing that happened in the TSB community within this previous weekend is that the update got delayed because the update got leaked. Fortunately, only the full moveset of Child Emperor got leaked and nothing more than that from what I can see. But I'm sure all of you guys already know that, right? Child Emperor moveset got fully leaked. L leaker for that because because of that, bro, the update got delayed so that they could add some new stuff that people could actually be surprised by. But that's not what this video is about. But I did feel like informing you guys about that in case by some chance you didn't know. What we're here to talk about is the fact that Santino, okay, the owner of the strongest battlegrounds, hired the owners of Realm Rampage and Jujutsu Shenanigans. Yes, a Spectre, the owner of Realm Rampage, former owner, or well, technically still owner of Z and Key Battlegrounds, now works for the Strongest Battlegrounds, as well as Z, who is the owner of Jujutsu Shenanigans, also works for the Strongest Battlegrounds. Now, obviously, the reason why this is low-key a problem, and listen, before I even get on with the rest of the video, I want you to know this isn't me, like, trying to, I don't know, diss or even say that, like, the owner of TSB is a bad guy for this. Realistically, this was a good business move for him, but the reason this sucks is because already, like for one, Jujutsu Shenanigans hasn't had the craziest streak of consistent updates. When the game first came out, sure, but then the typical thing happened. At least this is my assumption. I, for all I know, some personal drama could have been happening with Jujutsu Shenanigans. So forgive me for speaking on this. This is just my personal opinion. This is not a fact. But from what I saw, the typical thing happens where devs start to get a little bit lazy because they make an extraordinary amount of money off of these games. And after they get successful, it's like, why would you grind as if you're still starving if you're able to eat whatever you want whenever you want in a metaphorical sense, right? So the updates started becoming a lot less consistent as far as new content updates right so like this game did update well by this game i mean jujitsu shenanigans it's last like quote unquote update because like i say quote unquote because it didn't actually add any new content besides emotes it was on the 24th of september so a little bit over two weeks ago but as you can see in the discord update log here the last actual content update meaning new content being added to the game as in new moves or whatever was actually the 18th of september and at the day i'm recording this video it is the 14th meaning it has been almost an exact month since jujitsu shenanigans has had anything new be added to the game and obviously myself and you guys at home cannot help but question does it have something to do with the fact that he was hired at tsb and now can no longer primarily focus on his own game and don't get me wrong this is a fantastic opportunity for both z and a specter this gives them a very solid base plate so that in the possible and very unfortunate situation where both of their games were to fall off they have a primary income to lean back on that is doing very well for them because obviously tsb will pretty much never die when it dies that'll basically be the signature mark of the end of the battlegrounds era here on roblox i think we all can agree on that and then if we go over and take a look at realm rampage here which is a very popular and fastly growing battlegrounds game at least as far as a couple months ago we have not seen any new content in this game since september 22nd okay again almost a month ago now if you go to the announcements tab you actually will see a message from a specter from two days ago and as you guys know me and a specter are like you know friends and whatnot but for and this isn't me like complaining or crying about this or like calling him out for it it's nothing like that at all but recently he's even been airing my messages and i only message him like once every weekend you know like i messaged him on friday and then the previous friday to ask if any updates were coming out because obviously i'm a content creator and i like to know and be ahead of the game so i can have thumbnails prepped and everything like that and i'm just genuinely curious i want to see this game win i want to see what's coming because i know a lot of what they want to add to this game and i was very very worried about this game not receiving any more updates because it would be too much for a specter mentally to handle the strain of trying to produce top-notch high quality stuff for both his game and TSB. And the reason I felt this stress is because, like I said, me and a Spectre would talk and whatnot, and I would know how stressful it was for him. I mean, only to the degree of being outside. Obviously, I couldn't actually know how it feels from his shoes, but he would talk to me about how stressful it was. And I could see the stress of just handling this game and having a game that quickly rose basically overnight to being one of the top three minimum top four battleground games and having to maintain that. You know, Z had always been like fairly successful. He had been fairly successful, but this is his most successful game to date. And I was very, very concerned concerned that something like what seems to be happening now would happen where he would experience a very hard burnout stage, which can honestly make you feel kind of depressed at the same time. And if you look at the announcement tab, he did say this game will receive updates. People saying it won't are just simply lying and you shouldn't listen to them. Maintaining the update schedule this game once had was ruining my health and meant I couldn't do much other stuff, which is why updates will lo no longer be as fast. Now, obviously here, he's definitely talking about not being able to do IRL things, but I also heavily think that he is thinking, sorry, that he is talking about not being able to work on other games and whatnot not because how could he possibly create high quality things for this game on the same schedule while also creating high quality things
things for TSB. A Spectre told me because when I came to him and I explained, hey man, I'm a little bit worried that you're going to get burnt out because I was coming to him as a friend, you know, not on some like money thing where I'm like, oh no, I don't want Realm to fall off because if it does, then I lose out on money. It wasn't like that at all. My main concern and only concern was literally just making sure that he didn't get burnt out and wasn't making himself have too much of a big workload that would stress him out. And he reassured me. He said, no, I'm going to have a schedule for it and whatnot. But as we can see, it definitely proved that he just bit off more than he can chew, which this would be more than anyone can chew. Having to create high quality things for TSB while maintaining your own game schedule, because as you guys know, a Spectre does not necessarily work well with big teams unless everybody's on the same speed as him. He's a very talented creator. So he's always kept a very, very small team, almost down to having it be like a duo situation, basically. So how could he possibly be giving all of his time to creating high quality efforts as his literal job now as a TSB dev while also maintaining a high quality schedule with Realm Rampage? And once again, I would just like to very clearly express that I am very happy for both Z and a Spectre. This is huge for them. But obviously for all of us diehard Realm Rampage fans and Jiu-Jitsu Shenanigans fans, this is kind of sad to see because it's like, you know, our favorite games are no longer getting updates because they're working on TSB. And I don't know about you guys, but me personally, I think TSB is extraordinarily boring. It gets boring much faster than these games, definitely, because these games have cool mechanics. Like that ability right there, that R move was sick. The parkour systems in both Realm Rampage and Jiu-Jitsu Shenanigans was honestly game breaking. Like it was such a game changer, you know? It's such a cool feature that you don't see in other Battleground games and it just fits so well in these ones. So to see these games, like not, you know, not get abandoned because as you saw, like they did say they're not gonna, you know, at least the Spectre said, I, I didn't check the announcements in Z's Chord, but the Spectre did say like, oh, I'm not abandoning this game. It will still get updates, but like obviously they're gonna come a lot slower and that just, that sucks because the game, as you guys know, has been averaging under 10,000 CCU for like literally the last two weeks. And I mean, can you blame it? It hasn't received the new content update in almost a month, you know, which like it, it sucks. And ultimately this was a crazy strategic move by French Fries, AKA Santino, the owner of the strongest battlegrounds because Realm Rampage and Jiu-Jitsu shenanigans were his biggest competition. They had the closest thing to his CCU, you know, which those games almost averaging 100K is the closest thing we have to TSB's multiple hundreds of thousands CCU that we typically see with a frequent up update schedule. So with him hiring them and them having to focus all their time on his game, that obviously, like obviously means they wouldn't be able to spend a lot of time on their own games, you know? So like that was a crazy move by him. And again, I'm not bashing him. I'm not saying he's a terrible person for this. If I was in his shoes, I would do the exact same thing. It's just one of those situations where it's like, you can't really be mad at anybody. You're just mad at the situation that, you know, our favorite games aren't getting updated anymore. But at the end of the day, these developers are only human. So please do not go out of your way to harass or attack anybody. I'm going to have that disclaimer in the description as well. And yeah, you know, let me know your thoughts on the situation down in the comment section below. I am very, very curious what you guys have to say about this. I'm curious if you guys even knew about this. The fact that the owners of Realm and Jujutsu Shenanigans are working for TSB now. But yeah, it's been your boy Wicked. Make sure you guys stay smooth, stay positive, and peace out.